Hi Genevieve. I'm 100% As the doctor said, I'm here to look after you. My name is Larry. Between shifts there may be other nurses, but I'll be the one in charge to ensure you receive all the appropriate care that you need. I'll come back and check on you later. I don't want to be alone here in the darkness. Help me. Help me please. Don't leave me here. She'll be okay. How do you know each other? We met when we joined this uh, community music group. Okay, so Genevieve's a musician, eh? She used to be. Till she met her husband, Steve. And he wouldn't allow her to join the group anymore. Fucking prick. I'm sorry, like, he just makes my blood boil. Okay, why didn't he allow it? God, the signs were there all the way back then. Oh, what is this? Security! Call security! Come on! This is a hospital, no. not a bar! What's the respect for no, 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 no. Get her out of here! Come no. on! It's not going well for Genevieve. Her deterioration seems to be progressing, and she hasn't responded to any of the treatment. Larry, can you call immediate family to come and see Genevieve? I'll do that right away, Doctor. <laughs> Keep him off. He hasn't bothered coming. Why should he be on the board? Ah, add him on. Yeah, add him. And things haven't changed. Why do you say that, Sebastian? They always gang up on me. It always happens. Sebastian, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's not how it is. We just want Chris to be included and this feels like the best way. Fine, whatever. I don't care. Go on. Compete? Oh, compete, eh? You know what? Look, I'm done. I've had enough of this. I'm sorry, Adele. I'm really done. I'm over this. Eight years can be the rest of my life. I don't care. I'm done. Or you could sit back down and complete this like a man. Please, boys, let's make this safe for everybody. Please sit down, boys. Get out of my way. I said, get out of my fucking way! Everything's okay, and they're not, and people get shocked. <laughs> That's way worse. So, how did you develop that belief? Well, Mum and Dad. I never heard them argue. I thought they were okay. <laughs> we thought they were okay. And then suddenly out of nowhere, bang, they got divorced. Out of nowhere. I'm so sorry. I truly am. You have nothing to be sorry about. I'm so sorry I treated you so poorly. I didn't know you were being bullied at school. I should have protected you. Yet, I made your life a misery. You didn't deserve that. You've already been through so much. You know what? We're still young enough to reconnect, if that's what you want. Yeah, I do. Great. Should we go back up? I've got so much I need to tell you. But yeah, let's get back up there.